are currently on day three of our Virgin Voyages cruise aboard the beautiful Scarlet Lady ship. We had a really relaxing morning with some great breakfast. This cruise has been really interesting. So at first we were supposed to port in Costa Maya, Mexico today. However, due to the hurricane and bad weather, we were rerouted to the Dominican Republic. I think today is going to be an awesome day. I'm very excited to get on land and explore the Dominican Republic. Before we left the ship for our shore excursion, we went and grabbed some lunch from the galley, which is an area of the ship that features a wide variety of different food shops. When we came back to our room, we had some beautiful romantic treats waiting for us. Cheers. Nice and connected. <laughs> it's like rose petals on top? I think is that so. What it is? Yeah, I think it's rose petals. This is good. I was scared for you because it said it had like peppers. This is very good. Now just about all the way pulled up to port and oh my gosh, I can't believe the beautiful blue water that we are surrounded right now and the lush mountain in front of us. It is absolutely gorgeous. Eric and I have a really fun excursion plan and I cannot wait to bring you all with us. Once we met up with our tour group, we took about a 45 minute drive into the mountains and the scenery was beautiful along the way. After hiking for, I would say about an hour, we finally made it to the top. Hello, hello. Hi. Where we spent the rest of the afternoon jumping and sliding down waterfalls. What was really awesome about this excursion is the guides were taking pictures and videos of everybody in the group that we were able to keep at no extra cost. We just got back onto the ship after our awesome excursion, but we are both so hungry. So we're gonna go to the restaurant called The Wake tonight for dinner. I always collect a magnet everywhere we go. And this is the one that I got from the Dominican Republic. I love it. I think it is so pretty. Excuse the messy room, but you look good. And this is what I'm wearing tonight. The Wake was one of my favorite restaurants on the ship and offers a wide variety of steak and seafood. The dining area truly has such a classy and elegant feel to it. Our dinner was delicious, but to be honest, we couldn't decide on just one dessert, so we decided to try them all. everybody look at this cute hat that I have on that I got from the gift shop downstairs but anyways uh, today is day four of our Virgin Voyages cruise and it is a full day at sea the first thing we decided to do today was head out for some brunch we went to Razzle Dazzle which is Virgin Voyages signature restaurant 
Since yesterday was full of adventure, Eric and I really want to take today to just rejuvenate and relax, as well as show you guys some of the different ship features that I haven't talked about yet in my previous video. So in addition to our regular bands that we have been wearing on board, Eric and I have been wearing these Splash of Romance bands as well. A Splash of Romance is an additional package that you can book for your cruise with your significant other. One of the features of the package is daily energizing juices and the first day of the cruise we had this amazing freshly squeezed orange juice and then today we got to try something very different. Yeah. Shot us like, oh yeah. I spilled a little bit. <laughs> oh you did take that oh, little shot. Bad. No it's not bad at all. It's I think okay. I still would want a full orange juice though. <laughs> so you would go with orange anyway? I'm gonna yeah. orange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However, what I am the absolute most excited for today is as part of the A Splash of Romance package, you and your significant other will receive a three hour thermal spa pass and that is exactly what Eric and I are about to go do. If you are looking to spend a few hours to unwind, detox, and relax, I highly recommend a visit to the Redemption Spa. There are plenty of places to clear your mind like this salt room, which also has a window overlooking the ocean. The spa also houses plenty of steam rooms and saunas. Can I see how much we're sweating in here? <laughs> Feels good though. 74 C? 74 C? Overall, our experience at the Redemption Spa was peaceful and just what we needed. We just got back to our room after our spa day and oh my gosh, that was so much fun, but also so relaxing at the same time. We both feel great. Eric is in the shower right now, but speaking of the A Splash of Romance package that I was telling you all about earlier, when we came back to our room from our spa date, we came back to some romantic treats. Those little dessert bites were so good, but we're hungry for lunch. So I think we're gonna go grab some food. Most of the places on the ship are actually closed for lunch, so we did go up to the bar and we got a drink at Richard's Rooftop, but what is really cool is I'm going to show you all how on the Virgin Voyages app you can get different snacks and honestly full meals and anything that you want delivered to your room or wherever you are on the ship. It's called Ship Eats Delivery and you can pick anything you want from this list of food and snacks and drinks to be delivered to your cabin. So we're gonna do that today. It's been a little while since I have talked to you all. Eric and I have just been hanging out and I actually just did my makeup because I am about to head down to, I think it's like deck six or seven, to the blowout bar and get my hair washed. And I think they're gonna do like a deep conditioner scalp type of treatment and also give my hair a nice blowout in style. I wanted to do this today specifically because tonight is Scarlet Night, which is a formal night across the ship where everybody dresses in red. I have a dress all picked out to put on when I get back from getting my hair done and it should be fun. the way that my hair turned out. I feel like it's giving Marilyn Monroe vibes. I love it, I think it looks so pretty. I noticed that throughout the ship, they were starting to put up different decorations for Scarlet Night. So we're gonna walk around, go check all of those out, and then head out to dinner. For dinner tonight, we ate at the restaurant called The Test Kitchen. Let me tell you, I've never had a fine dining experience quite like this before. 
It was experimental, meaning you didn't even know exactly what food you were going to eat, but what you did know was what the overall course would be based on. It was fun, unique, unexpected, and definitely pushed me out of my own comfort zone to try different culinary combinations. Good morning, everybody. So we just got to the Bahamas. I just wanted to take a second to say thank you so much for watching this video. I wanted to let you all know that as my viewers, if you click the link in my description box below and book a Virgin Voyages cruise by the end of 2022, you will receive a significant discount. So make sure that you click the link down below to find out more. We have had an awesome experience so far and can't wait for the rest of the day today and then to get back to port tomorrow. But again, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video and make sure that you stay tuned for part three. And if you missed part one, make sure you go click and watch that video as well. I hope that you all are having a fabulous week. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I'd love to see you in future videos. Thank you again and I'll see you next time. Bye.